Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is Monday's edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. First up, Squawker have released a list of the best 23 players under the age of 23 in world football. It's called the Squawker 23 and I can announce, if you didn't know already, that both Deli Alley and Harry Kane do feature. Deli Alley came in at number 23 of 23, which uh, to me seems a little bit low. However, he is of course only 19, so we're talking about players who are four years above him and older than him who he's fighting with. So, you know, I can see it was, a, I know it was judged by committee and not everyone's obviously going to have seen Deli Alley play as much as we have. But uh, he's came in number 23, which is very good considering he's only played six, seven months of first team football in the Premier League. And Harry Kane came in at number five. Number five in the top 23 players under 23 in the world. Fantastic. Just shows how lucky we are to have those players at Spurs at the moment. Where do you think they should have come though? Do you agree with those uh, numbers where they came in? Or do you think they should have been higher? Or maybe there should be some other Spurs players in there as well. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Second bit of news today. West Brom have come out and rubbished reports that came out yesterday that uh, Spurs are gonna have first refusal on Berahino in the summer if they end up selling him. Uh, it's the Express who have come out and said they rubbished it. Uh, yesterday it was all in the papers that uh, Daniel Levy had done a deal with Jeremy Peace. It did seem a bit pie in the sky to me, but it just amazes me that this rumour is just going on and on, to be honest. It's, it's almost as if the papers have got nothing to write about. Let's see what happens in the summer. To me, it seems like maybe too much water's gone under the bridge, but we won't know until the summer. Finally today, uh, Watford boss Kike Flores has come out and said that we are the best team that Watford have played all season bar none. Now, of course, we're second in the league at the moment, so we're probably likely to be the first or second best team most teams have played. Uh, best team, but he's talking about in terms of quality. He described us as animals. He described it as impossible for his team to get the ball off us and to win the ball back in transition. And it just shows what a brilliant job Pochettino's doing, I think. A lot of team, a lot of fans that I speak to, uh, I've got lots of friends who are big Norwich fans. They said after last week's game, in the two games we played them, we are easily the best team they've played all season. A lot of fans are talking like that. We're getting a lot of respect from all around the Premier League. 13 games to go, guys. Let's just keep it going. If we end the season as the best team that most teams have played, who knows where we will end this Premier League season. Anyway, guys, that's the news today. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at SpurredOnTV. Come on, you Spurs. We were just all over them, especially down the left-hand side. Uh, Lamella had quite a few options to cross it. Ericsson, there were a few.